So let me introduce you to the latest member of the vlog. This is Paprika. So this is like a stray cat that I found maybe like two weeks ago by my house and it was a really really tiny uh, kitten and like usually there's a lot of stray cats but this one had no mom or anything so small back then and it kept on like coming back it's like one time I fed it which probably was a mistake but after I did that um, I, don't know, I just felt bad <laughs> so I just kept on feeding her and then eventually got her this box and then eventually got her food and this is where we're at and surprisingly Pepper my dog is okay with her I feel like it's because he doesn't see her as a threat Unfortunately though, as of right now, I cannot bring her in. Uh, my parents are getting accustomed to it, to the cat, and to her, and they always like, it's like to the point now where they want me to feed her, and they remind me to feed her and stuff like that. Um, but obviously it doesn't have any shots or anything like that. Before she had fleas, but uh, we got, we took care of those, and like slowly we're buying her more and more stuff. Uh, so I'm hoping I can convince them, but the idea that I'm leaving within, you know, Possibly the next couple months is the reason they don't want to like have to, you know, bear that responsibility. So I know it's a terrible cliche, but you know, living here on this island, there's places that I haven't gone to and, and things I haven't done. And now that I'll be leaving within, you know, uh, a reasonable amount of time, it's one of those things where you want to experience as much as you can. And again, I've lived on this island for like almost a decade and there's stuff I haven't done that's like maybe within like an hour's reach, which is crazy. Like there's adventures and places I, I haven't been on that are literally outside my door. So I've tried to take advantage of that, you know, despite everything ongoing, I want to carve out time to do those things. So today, with a good friend of mine, I will be going to like literally the tip of the island. It's called Hito Point and I'll be taking you along. So welcome to the vlog. Because if there's one thing I've learned in my years of living overseas and abroad and in Asia and Japan mainly, uh, it's this. It's been that like, you know, no matter where you are, whether it's stateside or overseas or what have you, there is always things to be done and like there's always things to, to learn and, and explore about the place that you're in. Like, I've always thought of it in the way that like I know people who come here to like Okinawa, Japan, a place that I practically call home. And, and hate it here and, and, and like despise it because they come from the states or they come from whatever and like after some adjustment they, they love it here or, or maybe not but like it's a place I've always loved and like I've always thought it's the best place so I look at it from that perspective and that like you know it, it, for them it takes some time or they have to adjust or whatever and I feel like the same way if I go anywhere else like as, as daunting as the states may be as much as I don't know about it and as you know as much as I might initially like despise it I always think about it like that's somebody's like hometown. This is like somebody's like that all the memories they've had here, all the experiences. I'm sure like they have their little like places that they go to on occasion, and like I always try to remember that. Dude, you see the huge bird over there? Can you see it? Can you point it? I don't think I, I can't even see because of the glare, but somewhere back there. It's huge. Hey. It's like a statue. So we're finally here at Cape Hito. Look at this. It's like rain over here, but literally on the edge. Take a bathroom break, stretch our legs. It's a Thursday today, so not too many people are here. Let's get a feel of the landscape. Mountains up there, all along. There's a lot of like scenic viewpoints, obviously, all along the way. And a little concession stand over there. This is a super long drive, like oh, yeah, nearly two hours. And that's not even like there was no traffic or anything. It was just a long drive. We we're just driving along the coast of the island pretty much the whole time. Uh, so at least we're finally here. And I don't think. I think this is my first time here, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't think I've been here before. 
when I was younger, I'm pretty sure now. Yeah. What do you think? Look at my hair! <laughs> huh? Did you see my hair? Yeah. So bad. What do you think? No, yeah. It's nothing crazy. Yeah, it's just don't need any other view. Yeah. The drive, I think the drive was a lot yeah. better than. Yeah, the actual. You. It's all about the this, journey, not this. the destination. Oh, shut up. Oh. Random stop. We're at a dam, I think. Supposedly. Over. I can't point correctly. There. There you go. We're like, we're like uh, 30 minutes away from the last place? 40 minutes from the last place. We're just driving around now. We're in the mountains somewhere. Let's see what we find. Here we are. Never so clean. Oh, we made it. So we finally found a gas station. With literally like maybe like that much gas left. Oh, I know. Huh? Oh, we can't try. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. We're like way up in. I don't even know where we are. Uh, 40, it was like 40, 40 minutes, minutes without, without a gas station, <laughs> and we found it just in time. What? Yeah, it doesn't feel that much. Now 6 a.m. the following day, Friday, to say it's been a long day would be a bit of an understatement.